Hello everyone, our lesson today is about hydrocarbons. What are hydrocarbons? Hydrocarbons are organic compounds having only carbon and hydrogen in their molecules. For example, these three molecules are hydrocarbons due to the presence of only carbon and hydrogen atoms. However, this one contains oxygen beside the carbon and hydrogen atoms, so it is not a hydrocarbon. Therefore, the general molecular formula of a hydrocarbon is CXHY. X is the number of carbon atoms and Y is the number of hydrogen atoms. Now, let us see how could I write the formula of a hydrocarbon. We can use the molecular formula where we show only the number of carbons and hydrogen and the structural formula structural formula we show the bonds between hydrogen and carbon and between carbon and carbon in the condensed structural formula in the condensed structural formula we show the bonds only between two carbon atoms now what are the types and families of hydrocarbons Hydrocarbons could be saturated, like alkanes or cycloalkanes, where all the bonds are single covalent bonds, or unsaturated hydrocarbons like alkenes, where it has double bond and alkynes that has triple bond. How can I test whether the hydrocarbon is saturated or unsaturated? We can use either orange bromine or iodine solution or purple chemonophore solution. If it is an alkane, the bromine and the iodine and the chemonophore does not disappear, the color will remain. However, if it is alkene or alkyne, there will be decoloration of the bromine color or of the chemonophore due to the presence of a chemical reaction. Therefore, when there is decoloration, we have unsaturated hydrocarbon. And if the color remains for the bromine or chemonophore, then it is a saturated hydrocarbon. Now let us know more about alkane family. Alkanes are hydrocarbons with open chains. Their general molecular formula is Cn H2n plus 2 and is the number of carbon atoms. They are saturated hydrocarbons. Now how can we name an alkane? Alkanes are named according to the IUPAC method. The first 10 alkanes started from methane to decane from carbon number 1 to carbon number 10 and there is more. Now what are the kinds of open chain alkane? Alkane chain could be straight chain and it is named by using N as a prefix before the name. For example, here we have three carbon atoms, so it is propane, and by IOPAC we add N, so it is N propane, and here five carbons, then it is N pentane. This is for the straight chain. The other type is branched chain. Branched chain contains an alkyl group. What is alkyl group? An alkyl group is a substituent that is added into the straight chain alkane. It is like a open chain alkane with minus one hydrogen. So it has general molecular formula CnH2n plus one. In this year, we are concerned in two 
kinds of alkyl groups the methyl group which is CH3 for example here we have methyl group on a straight chain alkane and ethyl group which is the CH3 CH2 for example here we have an ethyl group on a straight chain alkane you have to pay attention that when we draw a branched alkane ethyl group could not be added at carbon number two or carbon number one it should be added at least at carbon number three how to name a branch alkane using IUPAC names first you have to find the longest chain here you have to choose the correct chain then you number from the side nearest to the branched to get lowest numbers determine the alkyl groups and their positions and then write the name using numbers and if there is more than one alkyl group of the same kind you put di, tri, etc. as you see in this example now let us apply the steps we said before in these two examples example one here we have this branched chain alkane where is the branch CH3 methyl we number from the side nearest to the branch it is at the carbon number two and its name is 2-methylbutane example number two here we have two branches both of them are methyl and we number to get the lowest number from both sides the same in, in this example it is named 2,2-dimethylpropane cycloalkanes cycloalkanes have cyclic chain they are not open chain there are many cycloalkanes to start from cyclopropane to cyclohexane the first cycloalkane you should know it is started by carbon number three three carbons okay the general molecular formula of cycloalkanes is CnH2n isomers of an open chain alkane what are isomers isomers have same molecular formula CXHY but different structural formula or condensed structural formula for example this is n pentane containing 5 carbons and 12 hydrogens and this is 2 methylbutane it is branched but the total number of carbon atoms is 5 and the total number of hydrogen atoms is 12 so the molecular formula of both, the, of, both of them is C5H12 then they are isomers having same molecular formula but different condensed structural formula here properties of alkanes first the physical properties of straight chain alkane destructive ones alkanes are colorless and odorless their physical state first four alkanes are gases from alkane 5 to alkane 16 they are liquid and above 16 they are solid what about the measurable physical properties the boiling point melting point density solubility increase as the number of carbon atoms in a straight chain alkane increase as we see in this line graph the number of carbon atom is increasing from 1 to 8 what happens to the boiling point the boiling point is also increasing so what can you deduce as the number of carbon atoms increases in a straight chain alkane 
the boiling point increases. Same for the other measurable physical properties. But is it the same for branched alkane? Let us see. Here we have isomers of pentane. First, and pentane has boiling point 36 degree. 2 methyl butane, which is an isomer for n pentane, has boiling point 28 degree. However, 2 2 dimethylpropane, the third isomer, has 9 degree Celsius the boiling point. What can you conclude as the number of branches increases? Here we have one branch, here we have two branches. As the number of branches increase, the boiling point is decreasing. Same for multi. Now reactions of alkanes. Alkanes undergoes only substitution reactions due to the presence of single bonds. Also, they burn and make combustion in the presence of oxygen. What is the equation of the combustion reaction of an alkane? Here we have an example on butane. Butane with the molecular formula C4H10. As we know from previous years that a combustion reaction is a reaction with oxygen. So butane when burns it will react with oxygen producing carbon dioxide. Why? Due to the presence of carbon atoms and water due to the presence of hydrogen atoms. And as we learned in grade 8, we should make balance for this reaction. But to make it more easier, we can use the general combustion equation. What is the general combustion equation of an alkane? Alkane has a general molecular formula CNH2 n plus 2. It will react with 3 n plus 1 over 2 oxygen to give NCO2 plus n plus 1 H2O. Of course, beside the heat energy. If we have butane, N should be 4. So C4H10 plus how many oxygen? 3 times 4, 12 plus 1, 13 over 2 oxygen. To give 4 CO2 and 5 H2O. To get rid from the fraction here, we multiply all the equation by 2. To get 2 C4H10 plus 13O2 giving 8 CO2 plus 10 H2O. The second equation that an alkane can make is a substitution reaction with chlorine Cl2. Why it is substitution? It is substitution because alkane is saturated, all the bonds are single. So to make a chemical reaction, we should remove a hydrogen okay, and replace it by another atom. So chlorine will replace hydrogen to get hydrochloric acid HCl. You have to know that this reaction occurs in the presence of light only. So it is called photolysis. The steps of this reaction the steps of chlorination reaction the substitution reaction first chlorine replaces the first hydrogen atom okay to get HCl beside a chloromethane. Then the second chlorine 
replaces the second hydrogen to get dichloromethane with hydrochloric acid. Third step, another chlorine replaces the third hydrogen, getting now trichloromethane beside hydrochloric acid. And in the final step, the chlorine atom replaces the final hydrogen, which is remaining, getting tetrachloroethane plus hydrochloric acid. So the chlorination substitution of an alkane, and here we are talking about the methane CH4, occurs by four steps. And if we want to write the general equation, it is CH4 plus 4Cl2 gives in the presence of light CCl4 plus 4HCl molecules. And this is the end of our lesson. Hope that you understood the ideas. Thank you for listening. Keep safe.